to install Egg Open GPS on your computer. If you don't know what Egg Open GPS is, watch the intro video first and then come back here. Links will be in the YouTube description. In this video, I'll talk about how to download and install Egg Open GPS for the first time and where Egg Open GPS stores its files in case you want to change the data location or back up your data, or if you're having trouble and need to delete the files for a fresh start. Then we'll do a quick test in simulator mode. I recommend doing this guide on a computer with a full keyboard and mouse. You can do it all on a touch screen, but using a keyboard and mouse will be much easier in the beginning. To start, let's go download the latest version at the time of recording. Use a web browser and search for egg open GPS. And look for this link here that's from GitHub, Farmer Brian T's page. So you click that, you can see over here the latest release, 5.4.2. And if you want to see a full list of releases, you can click on there. You can see there's a couple of newer pre-releases, but we're going to stick with the latest current release here of 5.4.2. Now there's four files available to download. EggOpenGPS.zip has the compiled program files that you need to run the program. Supportfiles.zip has the Arduino microcontroller program files, the printed circuit board files for the various circuit boards, connection diagrams, and more. The last two contain the source code. It's a Visual Studio project, and you can download them if you want to look at it or modify it yourself. For the sake of this video, you will only need EggOpenGPS.zip, but I highly recommend always downloading the support files for every different release or version that you download, as things may have changed for the Arduino program or updates for PCB files, that sort of thing. So get those files downloading while I talk about where Egg Open GPS stores its files. There's two main locations where Egg Open GPS stores its files. One of them is in your My Documents Egg Open GPS. This location stores your fields and your vehicle's data. See, I've just got the default vehicle for now, a couple of test fields, and Eggio also stores some files here. I'm going to go and delete these so I get a fresh start. The other location where Egg Open GPS stores files is in your users folder username, app data, local. Here you'll see Eggio and Egg Open GPS both store files in here. And these are the um, program settings or preferences. Be aware that simply moving your Egg Open GPS EXE to a different directory will cause it to load and act like a new program with new fresh defaults in a new app data folder here. You can see I've got older versions from 4.3.10, 5.2.2, 5.2.0. So each different version of eggopengps.exe creates a unique folder in here. And Eggio does something very similar. You see a user config file in there, eggopengps also has user config files in there. So I'm going to go and delete both of these so I get a very fresh start here and close that folder. Now let's also edit your file downloads and I recommend adding the version number to the end of them in case you keep these files for future reference that'll uh, eliminate confusion with other future downloads. So we before we extract the files, we need to right-click and go to Properties and click Unblock. OK. Do that from both of them. And now we can extract the files. We'll start with Egg Open GPS zip first, extract all, and I'm going to let it extract to this location and show the extracted files when finished. And I'm going to make a new folder in here called Support Files. And right click on the support file zip, click extract all, browse, 
desktop, go to my Agro GPS 5.4.2 folder, select support files. And we do not need to show the extracted files this time. As it's extracting, you'll see files will start to show up in here. You see the support files all listed here later. So now AgroGPS uses two main programs, agrogps.exe and agio.exe. Agio stands for Ag Input Output, and it handles all the communications with the outside world, such as the Arduino microcontroller and the GPS or GNSS receivers. Nago OpenGPS itself does the main calculations and heavy lifting for the steering and mapping, graphics rendering, etc. They communicate with each other through the Windows Network Loopback Adapter. The reason for this setup is that you can easily run other custom programs on the same computer to spy on the data flowing between Egg Open GPS and Agio, and uh, you can connect into this data flow with your own programs for things like variable rate or anything else you can imagine. Now, normally, we would only need to execute agopengps.exe, and Agio would also automatically run. But this time, we're going to do it a little differently to make sure you get the Agio firewall request from Windows. So we're going to execute agio.exe first. You should get a pop-up for Windows Defender. You want to allow access on your private networks. And next we'll run agopengps.exe. So read over the information here and either accept the agreement or cancel and you can take that part out really. Read over the information here. It's not recommended for real physical equipment. There's no safeties built in or implied. It's protected under GPL license three. So agree to the terms and conditions and congratulations. You've got Ag Open GPS running on your computer. You've got the default vehicle loaded and simulator mode is on. So now let's close them both. And we'll take note of the support manuals that are also included here in few different languages. Egg Open GPS is still evolving so rapidly that it's difficult to keep the manual 100% up to date, but there's a lot of good information in there regardless. There's also a Discourse forum server running at discourse.eggopengps.com. That link will also be in the description. Now let's also take another look at the directories that Egg Open GPS created. Just as a refresher, we'll the user folder here, app data, local, you can see Agio 542, Agio GPS 542. And under documents, we've got an Agio GPS folder. Default vehicle, no fields. Agio is also empty. Now, this location of your fields and vehicle data can be changed in the Agio GPS program. So now let's launch Egg Open GPS again. You'll see AGO loads automatically. Switch to full screen mode. And here is how you change your default data save location. Now you could change this to desktop, for instance. If I click OK, Egg Open GPS closes, and you see I have this folder now. Showing up. All right, so we had to relaunch the program. Now you see on my desktop here, it's storing my vehicles fields, although there's nothing in it. But I would recommend just leaving it as a default for now. I'll select my documents and it will put it in that old folder there. There's this handy button here. If AGO is loaded and you want to launch AGO GPS, you just click that. So now, let's create a test field. Click the field menu button. It'll automatically pop open to create 
new here. Enter a name, test. You can add a date and the time if you want. Just add the date for now. Click the green check button. And we'll go over the simulator controls. Down here, you've got a slider, controls your speed. You can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard. It's just a bit slower. The up down arrow key, see now we're going reverse slowly. It's a bit quicker to use the mouse. The next one is the stop button to stop driving. You can also do that with the decimal key. Click stop here, we see we stop moving. Next slider is your wheel angle, steering wheel angle. You can use your left and right arrow keys to adjust that. The next button here is to set a zero angle on the steering wheels. You also use the forward slash key on your keyboard. And the last button is to reset your simulator position. Now start slowly driving. So yeah, about that fast is good, a bit slower. And we're going to create a new AB line, which is a straight guidance line. It uses an A point plus a heading. So we'll click the AB line menu here, plus to add a new line. Set an A point. And when we click the B point, it actually isn't necessarily a point. It just calculates your heading between the two and that's what it saves. You can also manually set an angle here, set 10 degrees, or you can specify the GPS coordinates for an A and a B point. Set my angle here again. Accept it and accept the name. and close this window. So now you see the line showing up. I'm gonna click the auto steer button here. You can also press the A key on your keyboard and auto steer will engage. We're also gonna start mapping our coverage. I'm gonna click the auto section control here. You can see all three sections turned on. I encourage you to drive around and explore the program. We're gonna Disengage auto steer. I'm going to turn around and show you what happens. We loop back onto the area we've already covered. You should see the sections turn off and back on. Set a straight angle. The sections turned off, turn back on, and we'll start steering again. You can see the guidance line, the curves, circles are showing the angle that Ag Open GPS is calculating to approach the line at a nice angle. You can initiate a turnaround manually. Might be going too fast for it to really keep up with such a sharp turnaround. In following videos, we will take a look at more of the various menus, buttons, and advanced functions. So click subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.